So we have a problem, and the problem is how we talk about water. Last summer in Guelph, Ontario, there was a lot of kerfuffle about Nestle and the Wellington Water Watchers and the claims they made that Nestle was going to suck the aquifer dry. But we need to put how we talk about water into context, and we need to pay attention how media do not put the entire conversation into context. For example, last summer in Guelph, it was reported that uh, by Wellington Water Watchers that Nestle was going to suck this aquifer dry, and yet hydrogeologists reported that Nestle took less than 0.5% of the water from the largest aquifer in Ontario, and they were the smallest user. Consider this. In Ontario, all of the bottled water manufacturers and bottlers use the same amount of water for an entire year as nine golf courses do in Ontario. There are over 700 golf courses in Ontario. So how is it then that the Wellington Water Watchers focus so much on one plant in one area when their claim is, we really care about protecting the resource? And how is it that the media focus solely on one plant in one aquifer in one part of a province when they're not reporting the total use of water in the resource? So on that conversation of water and water usage and the notion of a water footprint, think of this. It takes 12,760 liters of water to make a smartphone. How many smartphones have you had in your life so far? Think of all the smartphones there are out in the world. Now add this. A cotton t-shirt takes 3,900 liters. How many t-shirts do you have? And the topper of all of this, a pair of leather boots, 14,503 liters of water. So when we have conversations about the preservation of the resource, are we willing yet to look at our own behavior and our own purchasing power on how we are draining that resource? Or are we still seduced by media and advocate groups who take the context completely in a direction that does not help the overall conversation about preservation of the water as a resource for all of us. So one thing's clear. If we are going to have a conversation that deals in a much more holistic way about water in Canada, we're going to have to let go of not going into the deep end, paying attention to context. We're going to have to let go of wanting to slay a dragon because there aren't any except our own behavior. So are you ready yet for a better conversation about water? I hope so. Be good, have fun, love each other.